Okay, so now in this module, we are going to focus on Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals for Computer Vision. This is a very important and interesting module of AI 900 course. Computer vision is one of the core areas of artificial intelligence, and it focuses on creating solutions that enable AI applications to see the world and make sense of it. In this module, we are going to focus on computer vision concepts, and then we'll see that what kind of capabilities are available from computer vision side in Azure Cloud. The learning objective of this particular module will be this. First, we have to understand the capabilities of Azure AI Vision. Then we'll identify the differences between services which are included in Azure AI Vision. We will also see Azure AI Vision Studio. And then using that, we are going to describe the face detection service and how it works. Let's start with computer vision concepts and then we will understand how computer vision works and then after that we are going to see the demos associated with that. As you can see here on screen, this is showing you how the image processing is going to happen in Azure AI vision. To a computer, an image is an array of numeric pixel values. The array consists of seven rows and seven columns, representing the pixel values for a seven by seven pixel image. Now, this is mostly the one which is used in your image resolutions. Each pixel has a value between 0 to 255, where 0 stands for black, 255 stands for white, and it's going to read the image based on that. A common way to perform image processing task is to apply filters that modify the pixel values of the image to create a visual effect. A filter is defined by one or more areas of pixel values, which we call kernels. For example, you could define a filter with a 3 by 3 kernel as shown in this example. This process is repeated until the filter has been convolved across the entire image as shown in this animation. The ability to use filters to apply effects to image is useful in image processing tasks, such as you might perform with image editing software. However, the goal of computer vision is often to extract meaning or least actionable insights from images which you are providing as an input, which requires the creation of machine learning models that are trained to recognize feature based on large volume of existing images. One of the most common machine learning model architecture of a computer vision is a conventional neural network, formerly known as CNN. CNN use filters to extract numeric feature map from images and then feed the feature values into a deep learning model to generate a label prediction. For example, an image classification scenario. The label represents the main subject of the image. In other words, what is what you call an image of? You might train a CNN model with images of different kinds of fruits, such as apple, banana, oranges, so that the label that is predicting the type of the fruit with the given image can be perfect. During the training process for a CNN, filter kernels are initially defined using randomly generated weight values. Then, as the training process progresses, the model predictions are evaluated against known label values, and the filter weights are adjusted to improve accuracy. Eventually, the trained fruit image classification model uses the filter weight that best extracts features that helps to identify different kind of fruits from that. This is the process which every time going to be used whenever you are trying to do a classification of any kind of images. The following diagram illustrates how a CNN for an image classification model works. As you can see, there are five steps. Images with the known labels like banana, apple, oranges are fed into the network as a step number one to train the model. Then one or more layers of filtered is used to extract features from the each image and it is fed through the network. The filter kernel start with randomly assigned weights and generate arrays of numeric values which we call feature maps. These feature maps will be used in the step number three, which are going to be flattened into a single dimension array of feature values. Further, in the step number four, the feature values are fed into the fully connected neural network.